In these problems, we're using the rational zero theorem, or rational roots test, it's sometimes called, to solve, uh, in this problem, a cubic equation. Um, and what the rational zero theorem says is that the possible roots here are all of the factors of the constant term over all of the factors of the highest term. And since our highest term, the coefficient is uh, 1, we don't have to worry about that. So it's just all of the factors of negative 24, which would be positive or negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So those are all the possible factors. Now, if we take a glance at our answer choices, this doesn't seem to have helped us too much. They all have 2 and 3 and 4 in various combinations. So the way to think about this is how are you getting a negative 24 for your constant term. Since this is a cubic, you'll be multiplying three factors together, right? So you could have x. Well, in this case, since it's a negative, you'd have to have either x plus something times x plus something times x minus something. Or I suppose you could have x minus something times x minus something times x minus something. Those would be the two ways you could get a negative result for that constant term. You have to have an odd number of negative signs to do that. But these are in the, in the factors. When we look at the actual solutions, the roots or the zeros, it's reversed, right? So if you look at C, these would be all positive uh, factors. Here you'd have one positive factor, two negative. And here, you'd have one positive factor, two negative. In either of these three cases, that would mean a positive 24 would come out in your constant term. If you look at this one, since it's reversed, these would be all negative. So x minus 4, x minus 3, x minus 2. That is the only one that could come out to a negative 24. So that's going to be our answer. Let's look at one more. This one says, list all of the potential rational zeros of the polynomial function and do not attempt to find the zeros. Okay, so that's not too hard. Remember, to do that with this rational zero theorem, we take the factors of the constant term over the coefficient of the highest term. So it's going to be the factors of 6 over 1 and the factors of 6 over 2. Well, the factors of 6 over 1 would be, and we should do positive and negative here, 1, 2, 3, and 6. And then, whoops, we got to add that over 2. The ones you get over 2 that are different are 1 half and 3 halves. So that would be our answer to that one. So that's a little bit about the rational zero theorem.